Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Mirage 2000C. We're looking at three things. First, interior lighting, then exterior lighting, then night vision. So the sun's starting to set, as you can see. We've got to get our lights on. Now, the cockpit for the Mirage is a dark place of the best of times. I always struggle to see. So whenever I fly the Mirage, day or night, I always have all of my cockpit lights on. So let's go and have a look at them. So we've got six controls here. Knob within a knob, a knob within a knob, knob knob and they are described extremely badly with uh, their little labels here so dashboard let me try and get it up again dashboard uv light knob actually means uh, well the dashboard which is the front area of the cockpit and i believe it means a red light so we can put that up to four in fact what we'll do is we'll come back to them in a second this one here is the dashboard the front again and this is the back lighting for the actual instrument in red this here is, says it's the red floodlights. What it means is it's the red floodlights for the consoles, which are the side areas, left and right. And here we've got the backlighting for the instruments of the consoles, left and right. Here we've got, for the caution and advisory lights, a rheostat just to turn the brightness up and down. And here we've got an overall, uh, actually just for the dash this works, uh, an auxiliary white floodlight. So, if I stay zoomed like that, first of all we'll do the leftmost one, which is the red lights. It says UV, but I say red light for the uh, front dash. Now the backlighting for the dash instruments. Oh, cool, right? Next for the left and right consoles for the flood. Next, the left and right consoles for the instruments. Next, we've got the uh, the night and day, the rheostat for the lights. Now the only one that seems to change is a, yeah, you've got a couple kind of one down there and a couple round there. Uh, and interestingly, it gets brighter with the night setting rather than the day setting, which I've never understood. I always thought it should be a lot brighter in the day, but maybe I've just got that wrong. Uh, and we've got the additional dashboard white floodlight that we can put on there. So I have everything on all the time just to keep it as bright as possible. It's still pretty dark in places, but that's the best we can get. Okay, uh, we've also got obviously uh, instrument specific lighting, like uh, we've got brightness here for the RWR, brightness here for an ADI, I believe, although I've never actually got that to work. But that is the main interior lighting. Now we've got to look at the exterior lighting. So if we zoom onto this little patch here, you can see it's still pretty dark, which is annoying. So first of all, we've got the landing lights. This guy here, we can have them off taxi or landing so we're gonna have them taxi you can see the landing lights there on the front nose wheel next we've got the anti-collision lights we can have them off low or high you can see the white additional lights flashing above and below next we've got the nav lights off low or high you can see nav lights now green on the right wing red on the left wing and white on the tail Next, we've got the formation lights off, low, or high. And the formation strips on the tail, rear fuse large, and front fuse large. And finally, we've got the police light here. The police light is a light that will shine out in front of us and highlight an aircraft that is in front of us so that we can read his tail number. However, thus far, August 2019, we haven't managed to get it to work. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, we do expect it to be implemented at some point. Next, we need to use our night vision. So as standard, we have fitted to our helmet a sun visor. So if we want to change that, I believe there are two ways of doing it. One is that we can bring up the comms menu, we'll go to ground crew, uh, change helmet mounted device to night vision goggles. Copy. Here we'll go and do that. Another way we've got, we actually have a bind here to change it here, switch between visor and night vision, but let's let him arm me up. NVG installed. Okay, it's now installed, and to actually turn it off and on, we have this here, helmet, visor, toggle. Naturally, that is left, alt, and home. So we can go left, alt, and home, on, or off. Now note, it is completely unsuitable for not completely dark uh, conditions like this. I do not know of a way of changing the gain or the brightness up and down. If you know, please let me know and I'll uh, add it to the video. Obviously, when it's completely pitch black, this will be just about the right amount of brightness. Okay, that's it. Internalize, exterior lights and night vision goggles. Hope that was useful and see you later.